Have you been like me and have been confused while trying to import your custom Swift workout into your iPad? I found no answers online on blogs, forums, or on videos on how to do this, so I decided to make this video to help you. Start by connecting your computer to your iPad using a USB to iPhone cable. Then start up iTunes. Click on the iPad icon at the top of the screen. Then click on File Sharing under Settings. Under the Apps section, click on the Zwift icon, then select the Zwift folder on the right. Now, back up this folder to your computer by clicking on the Save button. Choose the directory under which you want to save the folder. Notice the progress bar at the top of the screen as the folder is being backed up. Now leave iTunes and go to the directory where the Zwift folder is backed up. Click into the Zwift folder. Then into the Workouts directory. Click on the folder with the numeric name. That is your Zwift ID. Here is where the Zwift workout files are stored. Note that I created subdirectories to separate my workouts by coach. Creating the subdirectory is optional. The file I'm importing is from my Speed Sherpa coach, so I'm opening up the directory with that name. Now I'm copying my custom Zwift workout over to the backup location. Before we move on to the next step, I want to remind you to click on the thumbs up button below and also hit subscribe and the notification bell. Now that the backup directory has the new workout, copy that directory back into your iPad. This can be done by dragging and dropping the folder into iTunes. When prompted, choose to replace the directory. Again, watch the progress bar until the copy is finished before disconnecting the iPad. From Zwift, let's look at the workout by clicking on the training button. Here are the same two directories that we saw under the Zwift workout folder on my PC. My workout was placed under the Speed Sherpa folder, so I'll search under there. Find that imported workout, highlight it, and click on the workout button. On the upper left-hand side of the screen, you can see the steps of the workout. So there you have it, how to import custom Zwift workouts into your iPad. Now, if there's any questions that you still have that I haven't answered for you, please ask them in the comments below. And again, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below and hit the subscribe and notification bell. Thanks for watching.